how to go back to stock me ui on the poco x3 pro using a computer and the fast boot rom hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can go back to stock me ui on the poco x3 pro using a computer and the fast boot rom now as you can see i do have the poco x3 pro which is running me ui 12.5 but this is the xiaomi eu custom rom and this of course is based on android 11 now what are the prerequisites for starters since you already have a custom rom installed i think it is safe to assume that you have an unlocked bootloader Next up, those of you who are looking for a video to do this without your computer using a recovery, we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a clean all and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. And those of you who are looking to lock your bootloader, you can do that as well. Just follow along the video and I will show you the option which you can use next thing you would need is of course access to a computer and i do recommend an intel computer do note all the files all the applications the drivers everything is linked in the description of the video so first of all you will go onto your phone and go into settings and password and security and remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done you can go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove the accounts which are associated with your device once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you do reboot your device once now before you ask me what if i am on a custom rom which is based on aosp the process will still remain the same so go into settings on the aosp rom and then you can go into security to remove your fingerprint password face unlock and go into accounts to remove all the accounts and of course make sure you reboot your device once you have done that now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device another important thing to note over here is that in case you have a custom recovery installed like twrp you are going to lose that so you will have to repeat the process of installing twrp or any custom recovery on your poco x3 pro and yes the process will work on all variants of the poco x3 pro which include the indian variant and the global variant with code names as yu and bima now the next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode so for starters turn off your device and once the device is turned off press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo and there it is we have the fast boot logo at this point we are going to connect our poco x3 pro using a usb cable to the computer so here we are on the computer now on the computer you do of course need the drivers installed and those are linked in the description of the video next up if you have an amd computer you might get an error wherein you get press any key to shut down as soon as you connect your phone in fast boot mode to the computer so fix for that is also in the description both those files the drivers and the amd fix are zip files you have to download them on your computer unzip them run them as administrators and then reboot your computer and you should be good to go another fix for press any key to shut down error is to try using a usb 2.0 port other than that you also need the me flash tool installed on your computer and again linked in the description this is an executable file so all you need to do is install it then you need the fast boot rom for your variant of the poco x3 pro do note there are multiple variants the one which is the indian one has a code name bima mine is the international variant so it has the code name vayu but as i mentioned earlier process will work on both vayu and bima now do note this is generally a dot tgz file and the website which i have linked in the description of the video the links are directly from xiaomi's servers so don't worry about that next up do not download the recovery file download the fast boot rom only and of course this is in an archive 
format and we do need to unzip it now i am using winrar to unzip it you can use any application which you want to so all you need to do is just select the file right click on it and say extract to yueea global in your case it might be bhima or some other name and again you do need to download the fast boot rom for your variant you have yueea i think you have Yu global and then you have bhima so those should be the only variants and you of course would know where you bought your poco x3 pro from now once the file has extracted successfully you will note we have a folder with the same name as that of the fast boot rom file name if i go inside this i again have the same name and inside this i have all the files which i need so i have images and the flash all stuff so for starters let us go back and we are in the main folder where we have the archive for the fast boot rom and the extracted file so let us go ahead and rename this guy to say FAC factory firmware so let us say just factory right I did make a typo so don't make fun of me anyways so now if I go inside this I again have the Vayu EEA global in your case it might be Bima and inside this I have the images so I will go back one more and rename this one and let us rename this to say select so I have renamed it to select hyphen me hyphen x3 pro the significance of this i will explain later in the video now next up all you need to do is go to your start menu and then open the xiaomi mi flash tool so here it is we are in the mi flash tool and right now nothing is being detected so first up let us say refresh that should make sure that our device is detected and as you can see our device is now being detected in fast boot mode next thing we need to do is we need to navigate to the path where we have extracted the fast boot rom so go into select and now we are going to navigate to that folder so in my case it is in my drive c drive and poco rom and herein i have more folders so here and see again i have factory and i have select me x3 pro so this is the folder which we need to select in short you need to select the folder which is the parent of the images folder do not select the images folder just select the parent of the images folder which is why i have named it select me just to make my life easier and then select ok so now the path here is correct the device is being detected and here is the next scene so you have three different options at the bottom you have clean all save user data and clean all and lock so clean all and lock is going to lock your bootloader if you want to do that feel free of course clean all means it is going to perform a factory reset as well save user data will not perform a factory reset and not lock your bootloader now me personally i do recommend that you perform a clean all flash because pretty sure you are flashing a fast boot rom because you're running into some issues so it is recommended that you select clean all and if you want to lock your bootloader again clean all and lock now me personally i don't want to lock my bootloader so i will just select clean all and then the next thing you need to do is just say flash and there it is you can see the flashing process has started and it will take some time now another pro tip is that do not disconnect your device from the computer next up if you are using a laptop make sure you turn off those settings where and say the device will go to sleep or the hard disks will turn off after five minutes if you are on battery power so any battery saver settings which you have on your laptop should be disabled because you don't want your laptop going into sleep or the hard disk of the laptop turning off while you are flashing a fast boot rom so turn those settings off what i generally do is i just keep on frantically moving the mouse like a crazy guy now once the process has finished successfully you are going to get a success message on your computer and the phone will boot out of fast boot mode and pretty soon you should be able to see the boot animation as soon as you see the boot logo you are free to disconnect your device from the computer and of course the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we do have the initial setup screen of course i flashed the miui 12.5 rom so i have miui 12.5 and let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen let us go into settings about phone 
bam here it is miui version 12.5.1 global stable android version of course is 11 and there it is peeps that is how you install the stock factory firmware or the stock factory software on your poco x3 pro using the fast boot rom and a computer and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you